Everybody, it's that time again. It's Oscar time. I'm Dave Morris. I know nothing about the Oscars, but this guy knows plenty. It's George Lang from the Oklahoma's Entertainment Desk. Thanks for your time this hey, morning. Thanks for having me. The Oscars are Sunday night. Of course, you can watch that live in all of its glory, I believe, on ABC. Is that right? Yes, exactly. And, of course, on numerous websites, including newsok.com. Mm -hmm. And I'll just go ahead and start off with that. George Lang and Brandy McDonald will also have live blogging throughout the event. Absolutely. Minute by minute, we're going to be on it. So let's start with that, uh, and we'll get into a breakdown of all the categories and who George thinks will win all of those, and then we'll grade them on it next week. But first of all, <laughs> the hosts this year, uh, James Franco and Anne Hathaway, compared mm -hmm. to last year, Alec Baldwin and Steve Martin. Right. A little bit younger demographic. We see the advertising on, on ABC. Uh, they're, they're working out. They're doing the Rocky routine. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. So we were talking about this before we started taping. Is, is it kind of a, a, a shift towards from older to perhaps younger, to stay relevant for the Oscars. You see Best yep. Picture, uh, King's Speech versus Social Network, mm -hmm. Greatest Generation versus Gen X. What do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, I, I think there's a lot to be said about that. I, I, I think that people watch the Oscars differently these days. I, I, I think, you know, as, you know, it's it's evident in the way we're covering it. Mm -hmm. You know, we're we're going to be live blogging the thing for all three and a half hours or three and a half days of the thing. Who no, knows? No kidding. Um, and and I th I think that uh, you know in this case you have a very Oscar-y, what I would u I'd use that term to describe the King's Speech. I mean, it, it's a period piece. It's the kind of film that. Uh, that the Academy tends to vote for versus the social network, which is very much a, a film of its time. It's a, it's a, it's a movie that, uh, that speaks to the way we live. So yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a distinct divide. I think that it might be um, uh, emblematic of a real change that's going on. Well, perhaps it just turned out that way this year, but it is kind of interesting to see the parallels there. Absolutely. And in fact, there's all sorts of uh, digital ways to watch the Oscars this year, the mm -hmm. official oscar.go.com live streaming backstage right. moments. Mm -hmm. I believe there's an app you can download. I was reading for the Governor's Ball, which I think you were invited to. It's the exclusive <laughs> <right>. after party. <laughs> and, and I see that they've corralled some of the mothers of the nominees to post on Twitter as well. So Absolutely. Yeah, you, you, you can... I mean, you can just have blanket coverage these days. You can get it in every possible way, uh, you know. And and so, you know, it's not just about being glued to your television anymore. Although we all are, uh, you can uh, you can be uh, getting you know, information feeds from all different sources. It's it's pretty amazing now. <laughs> So enough of my ramblings and talks. Let's get into the categories. George Lang, who you got for best supporting actor? Okay. Well, we are slightly split on this. Uh, Gene Triplett says that uh, Jeffrey Rush for the King's Speech, he played the speech therapist, mm -hmm. it was an amazing performance, that he should win. But uh, he believes that Christian Bale will win. Brandy and I, we both said that uh, that Christian Bale deserves to win and will win. I think that his performance as Dickie Eklund, the uh, the crack addicted uh, brother of a prize fighter um, who is able to uh, rehabilitate himself in uh, David O. Russell's The Fighter, just an extraordinary performance, so committed. Bale has been an amazing actor for many, many years, since he was a kid, but I don't think that there's ever been a moment where he has been so on, and I truly believe that he's going to win this. Next category, Best Supporting Actress. Okay, well, Gina Brandy uh, say that Melissa Leo, who played mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dickie Eklund's mother in The Fighter, is going to win. And um, I, I, I don't, I personally think that, uh, you know, the, the winner in an ideal world would be Jackie Weaver, who played this, uh, the grandmother who was the head of a crime family in this Australian film called Animal Kingdom. That she would win, but uh, but really, I believe I believe that Haley Steinfeld is going to win for True Grit, and this is a strange uh, situation because Haley Steinfeld, in uh, just in terms of screen time, she should be a Best Actress nominee, but you know I, I think that you know, a lot of times the studios will jockey for the best possible position, and that's why they uh, lobbied for her to be a supporting actor. I think she's going to win that. Be a great way for her to launch her career, huh? Absolutely. absolutely. Speaking of best actress categories, who you got? Best actress. Okay. Well, Jean said that uh, Annette Bening should w uh, should win, but that Natalie Portman will win. Both Brandy and I think that Natalie Portman should win, will win. This is her year. 
-hmm. And I mean, she's been uh, again. This is kind of this is kind of the same situation that uh, that Christian Bale had. You know, uh, Natalie Portman has been giving amazing performances she, since she was 13. I think that this is her year. She will win this one for Black Swan. All right, and Best Actor. Best Actor. Um, we are all in lockstep on this. Colin Firth. You know, he was up for uh, an award last year for a single man, and uh, just an, an extraordinary performance. But then, at the at the very end of the year, you had Jeff Bridges giving that amazing performance in Crazy Heart. Well, both of those guys are nominated again this year, but this is first year. His performance as King George the Sixth, uh, the the uh, monarch who you know had to face down this horrible problem with stuttering and was able to overcome it through the use of this really empathetic speech therapist. Uh, you know, I, I, here's the thing. Critics love his performance. Speech pathologists love his performance. It is that realistic. He's gonna win this. Think if there was Twitter back in the day. He wouldn't even have had to have spoken. <laughs> That's right. He just posts everything on Twitter and Facebook. There exactly. It is, people. There it is. Maybe yes, he appeared absolutely. on a horse or something. He could be the tw uh, he could be the tweet king. He could. That's right. <laughs> his, Twitter, his Twitter name would just be the king. That's right. <laughs> Deal That's with right. it. All right. right. Uh, direct, director category. <laughs> okay. Um, for best director, we're again really in lockstep on this. And and you know the thing is is that um, you know a lot of times. Best director and best picture are for the same film, but you know there's a possibility that things are going to split this year. Um, and for that reason, I think I think Gene thinks, Randy thinks, David Fincher for The Social Network. Um, you know, I have been a fan of his ever since he made his directorial debut with Seven, and he came, he came from music video before that. Um, but this guy is one of the most singular stylists in. Hollywood, you know, working today, one of the best, and I and I truly believe that he's going to win because it, it is such two hours, and I've never seen a film so perfectly paced and packed. I mean, just in years. I, I, I so I truly believe that David Fincher is going to win this one. All right, drum roll, please. We get to the final Here it is. category, and at this point, it's probably about eleven o'clock Oklahoma time on Sunday nights. We get to this. <laughs> That's right. Best picture. Wow, best picture. Uh, Gene says that uh, that uh, the King's speech should win, but that the Social Network will win. Brandy and I think Social Network should win, the King's speech will win. So it's all up in the air, as far as we're concerned. Right. You know, uh, I just have a feeling that uh, that the King's speech is going to win because it is just, it has more of a, uh, you know, it's, it's what the Academy tends to vote for, mm -hmm. okay? The, the social network, it speaks to where we are today. It's, it's really emblematic of where we are today. But, you know, it's, it's like, it, and, and I compare it to things like All the President's Men, you know, or Citizen Kane. But, you know, the funny thing about both of those films, they didn't win Best Picture either. Well, we'll see who wins Best Picture on Sunday night. The orchestra has been cued. That's the music. That means we got to get off the stage. George, thanks for your time today. Thank you, Dave. Again, live blogging with George and Brandy McDonald on News OK on Sunday night. Be sure to check that out, and we'll see who wins.